All right, cool. I'm uh, going to try to fly through some more of these uh, today. It's uh, Friday now. Um, the guide is now out. I recorded some of the videos earlier on before. Um, my preview is actually released, but it was released Wednesday, so it's only been two days. Um, if you don't know what it is, um, check my timeline. There's a link, or ten probably, that you can find how to get the college football preview. Um, it's 104 pages. goes through basically every team and, and breaks their schedule down, and I project lines for all their games and a projected win total for each team and I recommend some plays that I've made as well as far as futures go. So go get that if you haven't yet. Um, this next game here on the on the slate or the card is uh, Ball State at Georgia State. And it's currently uh, Georgia State minus three. They're the home team. And my personal number is minus four. So I think it's pretty close. Um, nothing that's going to get me betting. Um, and what's, I guess, intriguing about this game is that it opened Ball State minus five and a half, and it swung to Georgia State as the favorite by three. Um, so it's like an eight and a half point move. Uh, pretty telling. I think it's correct now. I wasn't, at the time these opened, um, I wasn't uh, well versed or prepped enough for some of these smaller conferences and smaller schools. So, like I had mentioned in a couple other videos, I got a bad Vanderbilt number or Minnesota number, but here uh, I didn't. I missed this one completely. I'm kind of bummed, um, but I just need to stay away at this point. I don't think it's gonna really get much higher though. And um, I guess if someone wanted a recommendation in this game, it would be uh, to wait and see. If there's a total. Uh, I think um, there might be some value in general, um, which I'll get into in other Ball State games. I think uh, as far as totals go, but for now, just pass. Uh, we're going to move on to the next game.